I'm going to show you how to use the Victor Crop Tool. Um, first we go up to File, um, Open, and I'll pack this one here. This is a, a A3 poster I made. It's actually a photo of it on the wall. And we will, if, if we go like, we can see in the corners that we, in the, in the middle here, that we have these little X's. But say we just want this ribbon part here. So what we go to the vector crop tool and we click on it. And then we can see that the corners have changed and these double arrows have come up and so is the middle. So to bring the bottom up, we're going to click at the bottom and just drag it up to there. And then we're going to, we can bring the corners in if we want, but we're just going to drag one side in there, and one side in, oops, oh you can do that too, you can resize it if you want it big on both sides like that, um, but what I was trying to do was bring both sides, and we'll just do it like that, that's pretty good. When you when you try these new tools, um, play around with them, try the angles up and down, left and right, and and, and see what you can um, achieve. The more you play around with them and you do things, the more you will learn. And now, we'll go up to Edit and Cut. It could be Edit and Copy. And then File and New from Clipboard. Now what that does is, it takes the image that's up in the clipboard and pastes it right here. And this is the one we've just cut out. And now we can go from File to, we can do anything we want to it. Or we can just go to, to save it, file, export, and then export as a PNG, JP, GIF, TIFF, and whatever. Uh, and change any settings we want and just click export and then name it as a particular file name. And that's it.